you stop filming? Like, what? I'm doing candid footage. <laughs> like I've just filmed. It's, it's, it's annoying. You're not getting anything you haven't used before. I'm this recycling. Is, you're recycling the same. What? Things. How many times are you gonna put me on there talking about this? <laughs> Sound shop vlogs. Clips. Oh, so Steve. Steve. What's up, everybody? It's Steve, and this is SSA. Hey, it's hey. What's up, everybody? This is SSV. And this is Tales from the Clips 2, 3 Clips on video. There it is. It's a Steve heavy video. It's got Steve, K, Steve. Of <laughs> course, oh, Steve, come on. Hold on. Don't forget to say the, say the basics. Like, comment, subscribe, the whole bit. Say it, say it. I want you to like, I want you to comment, and I want you to subscribe. And we also have, we also have to announce something, Steve, promoting. I finally am putting it out. Check the, oh, check the link check in the description. Out. Finally. Oh my God, don't do this. <laughs> Oh, it's a great oil rig. Oh, no, no, no. I'm trying basic tees at first. If you like, if you want to support the channel, I'll appreciate it. Yeah, there's a shot. Look at that staging. God. Steve is in a lot of these videos. He's in a lot of these clips today. Do you want to just say what happened or you know, whatever? A TV stand, <laughs> lighting, and K in the car. I don't know. TV stand, lighting, K in the car. You'll see it. Right. Just say till next. Say until next time. Till next time. So I walk in today, I walk into Best Buy training class. What the heck's going on? Was this Geek Squad, Steve? What are you doing? <laughs> Putting together a TV stand? What the heck is this? I thought we were a sound company. What's going on here, JFL? Look at TV Tina. <laughs> what? TV Tina over here. All video all the time. Yeah, look at that. Whoa. That's a future video right there, Steve, right yeah. behind you. Seems like a mechanic down there. Look at him. Hey, lady, I told you to be ready on Tuesday. <laughs> Steve, you know, remember the show from the 90s, Babe Watch? With Pamela Anderson Lee and Yasmin ah. Bleach and got and thirsty guys would watch it because they're what, on it. What what year? <laughs> That's nineties. Oh, okay. I'm creating a new I, I want to do a new series called Gear Watch. Huh? Because when I see new gear, I get thirsty for views. <laughs> I mean, wow. so what? Is that a stretch? And we got our own personal David Hasselhoff right here, okay. <laughs> no, all the gear needs is a big parrot. <laughs> 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 we got Sammy L and Steve figuring it out. Oh, Do you like being called Samuel L. Jackson? Is that funny? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Steve. So what's going on here? We're hooking this up to this. Making a TV stand. I, it was. I thought it was going to be taller. The picture, you know, but that's typical Amazon pictures. Yes, oh. there was. It's going to Peter Dinklage's house. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> well, tattooey. You know, I just so. need the money shot of it actually going on, and that's a happy ending. So. They were in there, but they don't. This is going to a fancy event today. Very fancy schmancy. Where's the fancy event? In NYC. High rise. Oh, yeah. No. F***ing gulag. <laughs> <laughs> or somebody throw it off the balcony. <laughs> if it's not going, don't force it. Just gotta, I think you just got to try all of these. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at that. Uh, look at all the nuts and bolts. Uh, it's like fun day. It's like fun, yeah. <laughs> God, there's more nuts than implanters. Look at that. Uh oh, Steve, come on. This Trucker thing was high quality. Let's rock around the Christmas tree. <laughs> I would bring a couple of sandbags. Oh. But the weight, it says it can handle 80 pounds. You know? Yeah, I'd bring a couple of sandbags. <laughs> That's high employee of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Thumbnail. Squad. Thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, look at it. A little level. Oh. You want help? Let's do it. Dun, 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 dun. You always want to support it from the bottom. Never squeeze the LED the screen. There you go as high up as possible. There he is. That's a babe. Is this going to a little person convention? What the heck? I don't know it is. Actually, no, it's not that bad. Oh, look at the full bubble. <laughs> it's actually not that bad. It's actually decent. Uh, that's fine. Oh, yeah, it's pretty nice. Good pick, Steve. Oh, man. So, like I said, happy ending. Oh, sandbag. <laughs> look at look at the, the stubby bottom. little legs. Uh -oh. The bottom should look like the beach with the amount of sandbags. Let's <laughs> take some weights in there. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna leave those off. Like feet. Yeah, we're gonna leave wheels. those feet dangling. That's like someone looking at. Oh yeah, you gotta take the feet off. It looks funny as hell. That's like that's pure, that looks like sure. hey, you'd show up and they'd be like, oh Ted helped you. <laughs> Good ending, Steve.
That shit shouldn't be on me. Yes. You need a distressor and you need a Bricasti M7 reverb? Oh, and now you also need the Neve 5045 and you can't live without it? Okay. That stuff fits in a tiny little rack. Bring it. Fly it on the plane with you. Check the bag. Oh, I don't want to check the bag. The airline's going to charge me this much to check it. You bring it. It's right, I'll just spend $15,000 for this one gig. Hey, I'm the artist. You work for me. <laughs> I, I don't doubt that that stuff sounds better. Like, that's the thing. Like, even when I was listening to Cooper's distressor thing, I'm like, yeah, I'm sure it sounds better. But that would be like me giving you a console that doesn't have a compressor built in, and I go, listen to how much better it sounds with this compressor. <laughs> Right? And then I just use the onboard compressor. Everyone just gets bored. Ted, I'm gonna do it one day. Right. I'm gonna go to the shop and I'm gonna set up a big rack of outboard and I'm gonna do nothing except turn it up 3 dB and hit a switch that just really engages the 3 dB boost and see if everybody around goes, oh my God, wow. Oh my God, I can't do much better it sounds. Yo, the digital one is the same thing it's they're so good at digitally modeling the in outboard gear now that just use the digital version you're yeah. not getting anything i agree like that's why i'm saying that neve uh, 5045 thing like we are going backwards man it's it's going to be an analog desk again soon because someone's actually going to go it sounds better and you know what it actually does. <laughs> I agree, analog boards, the analog shit in general definitely did sound better. It's good. But it was hard, it was hard to deny the convenience of digital. That's... I could bring this little thing, or I could bring this gigantic case and all these racks and all shit. And all these cables that are probably gonna have a couple bad ones. That's the thing I remember most. Having to troubleshoot a insert cable that, that took a shit. So, I'm not gonna ask for JBL on my rider, that's stupid. But he wants to sit at the cool kids table. I'm, I'm, I want L Acoustics and, and D&B too. And yeah. I'm specifically talking about the three big brands. And JBL is the bottom of that brand, right? And I'm saying, how much better is L Acoustics? How much better is D&B? I don't think it's that much better. I don't think so either. If at all. Some people would dare say that it's not better. You know, it's just there's this unanimous decision that seems to have gotten made that these are the best brands. That's why, that's why I like lights. Lightning's got it easy. One console to rule them all. Yep. I will say this. I don't seem to get that much pushback on the lighting things. Like every time I go into something, I'm like, well, well I don't have any of these fixtures this guy wants. Nine times out of ten, we seem to get those gigs. I think lighting guys are a little, uh, I don't maybe they're just nicer than audio people. Or like they're a little more like the... Uh, Easy going. Can you stop filming? Like, well, I'm doing candid footage. <laughs> like I've just it's, filmed. It's, it's annoying. It's actually annoying because instead of talking like like genuinely, I'm picturing myself on screen. Well, I've been filming this the road. Well, not you. Just you're you. not getting anything you haven't used before. I'm this is, You're recycling the same. What? Thing. How many times are you gonna put me on there talking about this? <laughs> recycling. New viewers. New viewers. Nobody wants to hear it, Ted. We're, we're not breaking new ground here. The minute I walked into Sleepy's, I felt great. Their mattress professionals took me exactly to the mattress that was perfect for me. For the rest of your life. Let me get the strength. Today we are testing the hybrids. Steve will be testing these out and servicing oh, them. No luck. <laughs> Show us how you're doing, Steve. So we'll put them on the operating table. This is this video is sponsored by Dial a Mattress. I will show a commercial right here. Or was it Sleepies? Or was it Mattress Professionals? I forget. One of them. What, what are you implying? That lighting is boring? No, or that stuff is tutorials boring. are boring, even though they equal views. Yeah. Yeah. I got to give in. I got to give in. To the There's tutorial. not much of a tutorial to go about uh, huh. ch just making sure a light's not broken. Oh, look. All right. There's no holes, right? right. <laughs> the plastic is fine. Dusty is all hell. Oh, here we go. The menu. Menu's the money shot, dude. Money shot. Power. Give me that menu, brother. Give me it. Knock, 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 knock. Let's get him So mainly, I'm going through these to find the ones that uh, 
have messed up buttons. Yeah, I wonder do. if anyone else has had this issue where like, see what I mean? Oh, it's frozen. And mm. then, so the menu button isn't working, so you really gotta kind of get in there, wiggle them a little, you know? <laughs> What's the hack? How do you fix them? Uh, Steve goes up on a ladder and does this for a half hour until you get the menu button. Oh, oh you got him, you got him. Come on, enter. See, you wouldn't have to deal with this on a job, dude. This is what Kay wanted me to check out. Uh, so how do you fix these, the point? Uh, you get the whole new display. Ah, we order it. Uh. I wonder if that's just an issue with Chauve or if other lighting brands have the same problem. Because, I mean, it's multiple lights and it's happened on the spots, too. And beams, for that matter. I have a message for Kay. <laughs> Message for Kay. I want to put this on the on the clips or vlog or whatever. Yeah, time up. What? What? Tell Kay and the people will back you up. We got to go with the pre-rig trust, dude. Pre-rig trust. Pre-rig trust. At least try it. Let's rent it first. Let's try a gig with it. And then I will show you all how it is so much better. Yeah, because it's already ready to go. You're not fumbling and struggling you're with hanging, the lights. You're hanging the lights on the truss in the shop. You're pre-wiring everything. You're pre-addressing everything. So you show up to the venue and it's like, roll out the truss, hook mm. it all up. Motor, thank you very much. We come in, we're a stagehand's worst nightmare. I know. Thank God. <laughs> all right, so <laughs> I, was, I did have a design in my head, but I just noticed that it's not going to work. So we're going to have to change everything and it's going to take twice as long. And here's 30 cases of lights. Yeah, I can't. I can't get the center button to work. You really gotta finger it, you know. Oh. <laughs> you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta give it the two finger Louis. So yeah. oh. Christ. Keep God, pressing. This is frustrating. Keep pressing on, Steve. Keep pressing. Come on. on. Wait. Yeah. I was gonna close out, but keep pressing on. Wait. Destiny. Oh. Holy shit. Uh, do these things have set to sound? Oh, you know on. that's me, dude. I know it's you. No, they don't. <laughs> God. Oh! Stay. We have illumination. We have both on. Wow. We have lights. I can see the viewers running away. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you getting out of here? Unless you're CJ, you get no views. I mean, I hope people watch this and feel bad. Well, it's like I want Sarah McLaughlin in the background when I show up to a lighting job. In the yard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get him. What are you? <laughs> With your support on Patreon, you can help Steve and LD, who's getting piece of shit jobs. Oh. Hey! Oh, no, nah, he's joking. He's joking. <laughs> Seems to be working. -y. The major problem that we have with these things is the the fan for the lamp was like, I don't know if it was shorting or what, but. It would like lamp on for a second and then lamp off, so I just want to keep it lamped on for a bit and see if it yeah, happens. It's fine. But, I mean, in typical K fashion, I went through all these maybe six months ago. I pulled out all the ones that had that lamp on issue, sent them out, and Kay's like, go through them again. <laughs> you gotta remember to keep lamp, pressing on. Get a lamp off. Keep pressing on, brother. Till next time. Yeah.